Well, we're at the last step of this headliner project with this truck. Now we put everything back together. We've done the new fabric on the headliner. We've done new fabric on the visors. And so now we put all the, you know, the headliner and all the trim pieces and the visors and, and the seats that I took out before. I've been driving this truck with no passenger side seats for three weeks. So uh, that'll be nice to get everything put back together. My daughter's coming over to help, which is nice because it's uh, having an extra hand, uh, extra pair of hands for putting everything back together, holding the headliner up there uh, is super helpful. This will be a fun day. I had to watch the other video because I forgot how I took it out. But now I remember. I also remember it was hard. We'll go front end first. I remember too, I had to see how it's bigger than the opening. I had to bend it this way. Okay. Which I don't love because it wants to crack right there. Back to the back, front to the front. You know what I mean? That part was as far back as I could get it. And then this just kind of flexed and you're just gonna have to live with that flexing there. And get that notch in and then do the next piece and kind of like shimmy it in. Ooh, shimmy it in. There's a lot of cracking sounding happening. What do you want me to do with the wires? Uh, just kind of keep them up out of the way. Do you want me to put them like that? Sure. Okay. Just as long as they don't get caught up. So bending it in half works, but it's it's going to crack a little. It's as far as I can tell, unavoidable. You know, just try not to do too much, too fast. Just go nice and slow. Hold on, we gotta get the top. There's a notch at the top. We gotta get in. There we go. Yep. And then we're the same thing at the bottom. There's a notch where the seat brackets are. There we go. Okay, as you're able, start to wrap around the seat to your right. Oh, this way? Yeah. Okay. Cause otherwise we'll just end up out the other doorway and that doesn't help anybody. Okay. Is this? That goes up, the, yep. Right above the mirror. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'll cut on something, there we go. Okay. Uh, Keep, wait, I think, we, I think we got too quick here. Keep your left end down. Go back down a little bit. All right, so now we got it in. Uh, unfortunately, here the audio got corrupted, and uh, which is unfortunate because my daughter was super hilarious in this whole process, and uh, you guys really missed out. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. But anyway, so we're kind of getting it up in over top of the back trim pieces. Remember for the earlier video, we didn't pull the trim all the way off. We just pulled it loose so we could slide it out and then line it up in everywhere else and just kind of get it pushed up into the ceiling. There's some Velcro pieces up at the top. You try to line up and see if you can get it to stick. Make sure you pull your wiring through and then start putting in those trim pieces back together. So pushing those, they just put push pins and you just kind of bang them in. I'm gonna put the handles on. That's another piece that'll hold up the middle. So those are just those 10 millimeter bolts. There's three of them. Drive those back in, and uh, we'll do the other side, the passenger side, and that will hold everything up. And so now it, it'll, the headliner itself will stay up on its own. So now we're just continue to put trim pieces back on, just work our way from back to front. Then uh, got to this side, see on this side where it actually covers around the headliner. So remember I said before, you know, not having to be perfect on those flat edges because it's gonna be covered up anyway. One of the push pins was stuck inside the frame, not on the plastic piece. So I gotta pull it off. And I said, said jokingly, watch me shoot this thing across the truck and lose it forever. And then of course, that's exactly what I did. Thankfully it wasn't lost forever though. Found that spring. All right, well, let's see if we can get these back on. These are the clips that hold it into the frame. And they have a little teeth on them. And the plastic piece that's there slides into this hole. And then this, see side clips clip into the 
metal frame of the vehicle. So I got to separate these enough to get back out of that plastic, which would be interesting. Especially since these plastic pieces have been jammed in there already, so they're kind of bent. What is 245? Oh, no, you've been real helpful. So I just jammed a screwdriver in there. As the screwdriver widens, it'll widen out. Let's see if I can get these on here and then kind of pull the screwdriver back out. Yeah, that's not working. That seemed like a good idea at the time, but I just have to prime open and then crimp them back shut. Okay. Love you too. Thanks for your help. So what I'm trying to do here is pry these open and then get these little tabs here bent in so I can push the plastic through the tabs but the tab would be facing backwards and grip. Right now they're facing out because they got ripped off that piece. I'm trying to bend these little tabs, these little teeth back. And they're very small and hard to see. There we go. There. So now those teeth face inward. So as I push this on, those will grab and not come back off. At least I hope so. There. And we'll kind of crimp it as much as we can. Cool. Okay, now we should be able to clip it on. Uh, it was nice having a helper. I don't get a helper in here very often. She's a good kid. She's always happy to help whenever she can. They both are. Both kids are super helpful. My son's at work today, so he wasn't available. She's about to go to work, so she gave me what time she had, and I appreciate it. Thanks, sweetheart. Now this should clip back in those holes snugly. There we go. Put these trim pieces back on. Let's see, now we gotta go to the front Get the front pillars and that console piece put back on. And we got the seats back in. It's almost a whole truck again. Good grief. All sorts of audio problems today. All right, well, speaking of audio, if you recall when I took this out in the very first video, the speaker popped loose. It was glued in, but it doesn't have to be. And it's got little tabs on it and it does clip in, but it kind of seems like some of the clips are broken out. So I probably will put a, just want a quick dollop of silicone on there. So I'm just going to get some on a, I don't have any toothpicks out here or anything, but I get some like on a cut a piece of zip tie. Just squeeze a little out. And then put some, looks like that's what they already did. There's some glue here. Put a little bit there. Or a lot, you know, whatever. Then this is the bottom. So this goes down into the window frame and windowsill. And this comes up and overlaps this up here. And this should go right into a hole that's right there. That piece there. This does, these pins here, these little tabs, overlap uh, kind of a hook at the end of the dash cap. My dash cap is like destroyed so i don't know if there's any yeah i can see there's holes in there so they fit down in these little holes we'll try to get them in there and then this clips down in so i'll do that first clip that wiring harness in and then this kind of goes around this wire there it goes and then you just push kind of slide down the rail until it clicks in there we go Tuck that in, find that hole here, there. One of these days, I gotta find a new dash cap. This fabric thing is getting my nerves. Clean that up later, so now we'll go do the other side. There it goes. Push it in. Okay, so all the trim is up. All that's left is the uh, visors and that center console. 
and the dome light. The dome light is broken, which is why it was glued up before. The tab on it that's supposed to hold it up there is busted. So since it wouldn't stay up there by itself, they just put some super glue on it. I'm not going to do that. Uh, so I'm probably going to make another trip to the the treasure trove of you pull it and find, see if I can find one because there's a million of these trucks out there. If one's still stuck in the ceiling, I'll be able to get it out. I don't remember if I said in the first video when I took all this little stuff off, if I said what size all these screws were. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't necessarily take what I say as gospel here because I've already found a number of screws in here that weren't the original screws. So what's true in my truck may not be true in yours. So these longer screws, which are, there are six of these, those are for the uh, visor bracket itself, are T15. And the screws that are in the clip are T20, Torx. I don't know if that's factory. That's just what they are. I also uh, do remember that I drew a line with a pencil on these brackets. So I remember what direction they go. And then, but it's something I could easily wipe off so it wouldn't stay forever. And unfortunately, it wiped off. So I don't even remember which one's the driver's side and which one's the passenger's side. I did take a picture though. Let me see if I can find that picture. Lining up screw holes. So they're also at an angle so that it angles up into the vehicle as the ceiling angles up. Oh, and these posts go inside of a spot up there too. So that could be an indicator. How they go. These two posts are the same. This one's different. And there's a spot up in there. It's got a weird triangle cut out, but one's got a little notch cut out of it on only one corner. So I'm guessing that's for this one. There. Got it. These are plastic brackets screwing into a metal frame, so be careful because they can crack the plastic. And we'll change out to the T20. These I don't think are left or right. I think they're universal. I do have a little, there we go, slot they sit in. There you go. I just remembered. Never put the handle on. Well, so I think what I will do, see if I can just, I don't want to take this whole thing back down. See if I can leave those back plates off and just use the push pins to get, because that just holds the handle to the headliner. So just as a reminder what I'm talking about, because you may not want to skip this step. You may want to go ahead and do it right. These, this goes into the headliner and these clips go on the back side like that and click in and the headliner sits between the clip and the handle and that holds the handle to the headliner. At this point, it's not worth it to me to take the headliner back down to do it that way. So I'm just gonna stick them, this, stick this in and it goes through the holes in the frame and then push these pins in and they will clip it in. That's done. Now, the upper console. So we'll connect our wiring harness here. And then make sure we got working lights. We do. A hole there. And a hole there. There. Okay. I think it's all the way in. All right. Oh, no, wait, we still got to do the back trim. All right, so we can put these screws back in. And there's two on that side. Okay. And 
And then we got these clips, these pins that go in. So pick up a dome line or try to tomorrow. And if not, we'll finagle this old one. So let's get these seats back in. The bracket for the, this seat goes under this one. There's two bolts on that, two threaded rods that come up through these holes, and then it sits underneath this bracket. So I had to unbolt that whole thing so I can pick this all the way up and try to slide that other one in, which is, it was a hard enough time getting it out. I imagine it's gonna be difficult getting it in too. So I'm gonna pick that up. That's something I can pry it or put under there and hold it up there. So I'm still gonna get that over that, over that, over that. That one's almost there. Easy. Oh, that probably made you sick. Sorry. All right. Bolt those back down. Bolt those down. Put those bolts in. Bolt those down. Let's get this wrapped up. All right. So these go through here. Getting these lined up is kind of tough. There it goes. I'm going to put those in first. That way I can pick this up because they kind of sit against that hump and then I'll bolt these down yep, 13 so one of those had a seatbelt bracket there it is extension. Just gonna make sure the seat belt bracket has a little notch on it. It goes to the back. I'm gonna make sure I line that up properly. That's locked down. Now the two bolts that go or two nuts that go in there. This spot here, right here. And we'll get these last four down. <sighs> okay. Oh, shoot. I forgot. I put the trim on. I'll make it look pretty. Okay, back seats are in. Now onto the front seats. Front seat has a pin, kind of a guide pin that goes on and then there's the two bolts in the front and these are two holes in the back. So there's bolts that go down in the back, nuts that go on in the front. And then remember those are those weird E torques, reverse torques. I only have the right size for the back one. The front one I had to use, I think it was a 15 millimeter socket. It was basically the right size. Let's get on that guide pin. There we go. Front one's lined up. Yep. Okay, we'll do the back ones first. A little more juice here. All right. 
right, and then we'll move this back. Move the seat all the way back. I'm gonna get to these front ones. Those bolts I'm talking about. See, they got a weird pointed hex to them. They're pointed uh, torques to them, but they fit in either a 12 or a six point. The six point works a little better, I think, but the 12 works fine. 12 point socket, 15 millimeter. So that is it for the interior. Tomorrow, I'll go get that dome light. I'll see if I can go to the junkyard and get a dome light. If not, we'll make this one work and then we'll be done. So found a dome light. I'm telling you, these U-pull yards, pretty handy. Uh, I did not get to show you this when I took this off because it was broken and it was glued to the ceiling. But I'll show you how these dome lights work, how they come off. Um, there's two tabs. There's one here and one here. The one on this side is on the lens and the one on this side is on the housing. And so when you pop these off, you pop the lens open with a little screwdriver or one of those interior tools. You flip this open, that pulls one tab out, right? And then you can drop it down and pull out the other way. The one on mine, this tab is busted off. So there was nothing to hold this other side of the dome light up. So they just put some super glue or something on it and smooshed it up there. So I don't know if this dome light actually works, but if it doesn't, I'll just, I'll just steal the lens off it and use that. But let's get this put in and then we'll be done. All right, got our wire harness here. Plugs in the back. Hey, look at that, they work. And then the buttons go in the back because that's where the person who's sitting, sitting would use. We'll get that up in there. Get in there. Ugh. Find a little groove. There. Headliner's back in. All the trim pieces are back in. Dome lights back in. Interior's back in. Seats and all that. And we're back to a whole truck again. It's quite, a, obviously, you can see it's quite a process to do this, but it's not terribly expensive. It, it can make a huge difference in the look and feel of your truck. Like driving before with all that crap falling down, it just felt like a pile of junk, right? Like you got dust filing in your mouth. I just hated being in the truck, like at all. I didn't want to drive it at all. And now, it looks like, okay, I'm not gonna say it looks like a new truck, but the ceiling does. That suede is pretty nice. I actually like that color. I said when I was working on this, I think I was gonna like that color better. The one that's the more, a little bit darker color for this interior, for this neutral, for these mid 2000 Chevys um, is a much better color. Now, as far as headliners in general go, this process is pretty much the same. Obviously the process of getting the headliner in and out and the specific panels one has to remove will vary from car to car, truck to truck. But once you get the headliner out, how you get the old headliner off, clean it up and put a new headliner on is pretty much the same. Uh, if you stuck around for all these videos uh, on this series, I appreciate it. Yeah, I know it was kind of long. Hit that like and subscribe button at the bottom. We still got more to do on this. So hit the bell if you want to see more upgrades, tips, tricks on these trucks. Thanks again, and we'll see you later.